the little watermelons. There's four of them in here. So far, so good. My neighbor threw this out. I took it out. It was waterlogged in that um, mossy stuff. And I put the bark chips on it. Look at that. But it didn't have a flower on it. So I should throw it out. I thought it probably paid $20, $25 for it. I don't know what color it is. So we'll see. Um, but I revived it. And she even threw this out too. I got some more over here. Okay. There's the tomato plant that I bought for my husband and he put it in the back of the shop. And something got at it. And I repotted it. And it's been like this for about three, four weeks. So she's starting to get flowers on it. So you know he's gonna just yank it off like a madman. I'm thinking about putting it in the backyard um, on the porch so that he doesn't even see the flowers on it, you know. And then he's got his little, this is three years old. He's just waiting to grab this one. My sister gave me something, but I don't know. They didn't make it. <laughs> Put my potato in the pot. It wilted over, but I'm gonna give it the two weeks, like they say, before I pick it. And that radish is growing again. I had strawberries in it, but they crapped out. They didn't, they took a beating. Well, look where I am, you know. Took a beating from the ocean. So, um, yeah. You have to put the dog toy up, otherwise it gets rolled off the porch. I did put a piece of wood. Look, this is this is all Jeff's fault, okay? That I'm growing okra. You gotta see the flowers on this thing. It is amazing. They're gorgeous. And I even gave them a little light. <laughs> but this is what they killed. This is the plant that I've had for since the original house. Yeah, it's starting to come back. But they killed it with the ozone spray. Oh, Agent Orange. I don't know what they sprayed us with. Unbelievable. For a couple of weeks there, I'm like, why am I gagging up? Anyway, but look at that. We have one on the porch. They can barely walk, okay? This house is only 13 feet wide. And that's my uh, lavender. It dried out a little bit. I gotta cut that off. And this. Some of the tiny apples that fell off the tree. Another. This is one me and my son were making the cage for it. So my husband wants me to cut them up. I'm like, I don't know, you know, if they're gonna be any good. I mean, I'm gonna try, but not today. Not tonight, Josephine. Not tonight. And the zinnias. This is just the front, guys. Um. Everywhere you walk, there's another plant. The zinnias are coming up. The other ones in the back, they bloomed already. I got a hot pink on that one. Last year I had one with two colors on it. In one flower. So, I don't remember if this is the same package of seeds. I don't grow a lot of flowers. I don't. I really don't. That really kicked it off. You can't even see the shrub in the middle of it. But the fruit root is slamming. I had to trim it a little bit. Apples are still on the tree. Wonder why. Hmm, maybe somebody built a cage around it. My son said, you know what, when the apples are done and we pick the apples, he said we could just take that apart. It was easy enough to build, Ma. I was like, okay. This is practice for when we move to Florida and you have to build the cattery for all the cats. Because Tinsley likes to be outside. She's so feral, that one. She's like, no, Mommy, you can't hold me nothing. And so, and I tell her every day, once once a day, I gotta, hold, I gotta hold you. So she's like, all right. And she growls and she tolerates She goes, Rrr, and she tolerates it. But anyway, still got apples. See it there? Anyway, that's the story for today. 
still got my little alien friend here. I know I'm crazy. I'm waiting for the aliens. <laughs> Somebody already told me they were already here, but that's okay. Anyway, God bless America. Be safe, guys. <laughs>